outside the complex. And this is the, the halfway point. And what we have here is, again, condos one through five, condos one through four in a raw form. I own the sidewalk as the cones indicate that I own the parking in the street. I own the sidewalk itself. So this will allow anybody to have a drive through to have people outside food and drinks outside because this is a private sidewalk. On this side, this is a new sidewalk de designed by the city. It's made so that people can bring chairs and things outside, but again, permission with the city. This is all parking by the city. This is a 36 or 42 unit complex across the streets called the M, M Mount Vernon Lofts. This is two hour parking, two hour parking, two hour parking, pr uh, private parking, 10 spaces that is privately owned and will be part of condos one through four. Condo number five is a single unit, 24 inches wide. Condo number six is a double unit, 48 feet wide. Condo number seven is double wide. And again, the finish is diamond plate, glass block, diamond plate, very wide sidewalk. This is at least 15 to 20 feet wide. I think it's about 20 feet wide. This street costs $500,000 by the city. It's a brand new street. This is condo number six, and this is condo number seven, a double. Okay, so I'm gonna keep walking down here to show you what the intent is. This is where condo number seven, number eight. This is the outside of number eight. Number eight is three circles, 24 feet wide a piece made for a gym, could be an, a training center. This is where we currently have an opportunity for about 8,000 square feet. That's what it looks like down here. There's the bus, the purple line, I mean the MBTA, every bus stops down here at this location right here. So it's a great location for a convenience store right here. That bus is now going to the center. In front of the center, just around the corner here is the North Shore Community College. Above is the purple train, the purple line stop. Hopefully you hear it coming by. These remaining stores here that are not painted black, these remaining stores, there's eight of them belong to the city of Lynn. They're looking for a developer to take this and basically work it with my privately owned. They can't sell these, they can only lease these out because they have a lease from the MBTA. This is 21 storefronts. This is a nice little strip mall. The street is only 600 feet long. That building right down there is the Artist Work Live Lofts. I'm sorry, the Artist Center. And in, within a quarter mile of here, every factory has been turned into lofts. That used to be a factory turned into lofts. Everybody, no parking requirements. So everybody around here is looking for a village, is looking for a strip mall to fill out. This is the entranceway to the Purple Line stop as you can see down here and across the way there's a lot of lofts but that's Lynn Arts other opportunities is that building is, is currently on the market that building is currently on the market for loft development if anybody's interested Central Square Purple Line stop people wait right up there they go through here and I'll show the other end so this is how long the street is they have fairs they have the markets they have the fruits, the, the farmer's market here. They have first night for scare night in October. There's also some underneath capabilities. These are also available to be rented out as convenience stores, coffee shops. And on the other side is Union Street. This is where it goes upstairs to the Purple Line. And that's how people come to go to school at the North Shore Community College. There's also rear access to my store number eight. And then also some rear facing stores. So you can have front and rear facing stores underneath this bridge, very unique piece of property. And Dunkin' Donuts is right there on the corner with no drive through. And as you can see, this is Central, Central Square in Lynn, Union Street, Purple Line. Central Square Business Depot. On Union Street, this is a Lynn Community Health Center. Brand new development just put in here probably within the past year. The building next to it, same thing, developed in the past year. And Union Street, 
has a international group of people that live here. Dominance is uh, primarily Spanish. We got Russian, we got Asian. Willow Laboratories is here. And the, uh, they're turning this into a major development. Uh, and again, this is on the back side of my pro project. This, this is the, uh, what used to be the Eastern Bank. And this is now a center here, as you can see in full development mode, here on the back side. So the health center is there, Union Street is there, and this is the back end of the site. The rear of my property has the Greater Lynn Senior Center services right behind me. The main selling feature is plenty of parking on the back. This is a private parking lot that belongs to Willow Laboratories and this building. Again, used to be the Eastern Bank. So I'm on the back side of the property. And look at that, the, most, the biggest selling feature is the, there's a municipal parking lot, free nights and weekends, the Lynn Municipal Off Street parking lot. It gets two to three dollars during the day for all day parking. And at night, and night, 400 cars, I believe, is the maximum on this lot. Which, if anybody was opening up a, a nightclub, anybody opening up a pizza place, anybody opening up a pub, they need parking. It's right across the street from my development. So this is not my parking lot, but everything that's blue is mine, including down to the three circles. And the remaining pieces of the circle belong to the city of Lynn with rear-facing storefronts. Again, this is not pri this parking lot here is not mine, but this parking lot is an MBTA bus. Every MBTA bus stops in front of my locale. It's the last stop for everybody to get off before it goes to the station. So, as you can see, the 400 car municipal parking lot right across the street. This is the only rear-facing store. It's number one. I highly recommend that this be. A, a car detail shop or something related to cars because during the day there's a 800 plus cars parked on both sides so maybe a auto insurance auto um, uh, what do you call it uh, anything that's associated with people you know checking out their cars for the insurance um, but this is my only rear-facing store I do not own any parking here but I do own parking on the street I don't know I'm sorry not parking on the street Parking on the street is two hour parking and then my private parking on the other side. This is the drive through already here. So there's gonna be a garage door here. This is 17 feet wide. So this is what goes into, so that's why store number one is rear facing. Everything else goes to the front. And this is condo number one, the only rear facing store. As you can see, it's under development on the construction. Uh, we already had already plumbed in the bathroom, so the bathroom is being plumbed as we speak. It's kind of rear facing, and again, we wanted to do a car detail shop, so it's ready for two garage doors, and this is 24 feet on center, so two large garage doors for cars. This is probably about 17 plus feet deep, uh, going that way, and again, it's made to take all kinds of glass block, all kinds of skylights and such to bring in all natural lighting, so it's all ready to go. Uh, this is the front selling area where the office is going to be facing the rear of the complex to the parking lots in the back. So again, all glass is supposed to be here. So this can be a car detail shop, a doggy daycare. This also can be uh, a rear facing uh, insurance checkpoint where people bring their cars here to be checked out to make sure that everything is cool. Um, could be many things car related. This about 800 cars that park on the back side of this. So car stereo, car wheels, you know, many things. And again, all new construction, cinder block construction, all new sewer, all new water. There's already drains in the ground, so a commissary. Uh, this could be a kitchen back here for, for commissary for trucks. Uh, but again, we already have the drains in the ground. For, in order for this to be a car detail shop, it does have to install new drainage. That includes the... Uh, the trap for oil and gasoline, but otherwise this this one is the only rear facing store number one. It's also noted noted as a car detail shop. Again, height of the ceiling is 11 feet, and uh, 
plenty of light for us coming in from the uh, from natural sun from uh, outside the bridge and this is the trains do run over these tracks store number two this is the, again looking at my property from Silsby Street and again underneath the bridge there's a drive-through this is store number two on the corner which we want a pub I own the sidewalk I own the parking in the street so we want a pub in this corner a pizza shop in this corner we want something where people are gonna come outside and sit under umbrellas outside seating 10 parking spaces we can also close this off and do some outside activity here and again all these are in their raw form 100% new cinder block walls no fronts have been made new sewer new water new electric and new gas on the D. so these are to be sold as is for final finish by whoever buys the units here but again we own the sidewalk we own the parking we own that sidewalk then after the red car down there we don't own the sidewalk it's owned by the city and as you can see plenty of traffic all these buildings here that's a brand new construction that's only about five years old condos brand new businesses upstairs sign shop Fed shop, and again, every five, 10 minutes, a bus, MBTA bus. So this is a transportation opportunity, and we need a convenience store here. And because I own the sidewalk and I own the parking, I can put a bus here so we can run a shuttle service from here. But again, this is Central Square Business Depot. The future name, we'd like to call it the shops at Mount Vernon. The street is called Mount Vernon Street, so we're going to call the shops at Mount Vernon. It's a little village. Our high end, uh, our expectations here is that it's going to be feeding uh, the hipsters, the crunchy granola bar crowd, the people that want to sit outside in a cafe. And this cafe has a drive through. So if you want to put something that needs a drive through, the drive through, which we've uh, had approved already, to come out that way. So it goes in under the bridge and then it comes out. So this is earmarked for a cafe with outside seating glass fronts that's what we're looking for here again Central Square Business Depot soon to be called the shops at Mount Vernon okay this is condo number three I mean number two and as you can see here this is about one and three quarters or one and a half of a normal size unit this this has two fronts that will be facing this is on the corner we'd like a, a restaurant or a pub to own this place full glass as you can see there's a lot of space here 16 foot ceilings 11 foot ceilings coming back here this is the main electrical room back here uh, 11 foot ceilings rear facing door for maybe the uh, deliveries and such as you can see there that's the rear facing door that goes towards the back driveway and again on the other side of this is number store number three which would make a great function hall uh, it can be used as a entertainment area or it can be used as part of the uh, the additional pub for sports but again very high ceilings all this is made for glass block and uh, and this part is to the left of this wall is underneath the bridge but we do on the street, we own the sidewalk, we own the parking right in front. So this store number two, we're looking to earmark for a pub, restaurant, sports club, nightclub, whatever will fit. Store number three is exactly like store number four. It's just one side. So store number three only runs from here to there and it's only it's half of what store number four so if this I can't get into store number three at this time so this is store number four it runs 24 feet on center from so the center to center of any cinder block wall it's gonna be 24 feet across and it runs about 60 feet deep uh, 50 to 60 feet deep from wall to back and again it's on the plans but this is be store number three and it's on the this is actually a representation of store number four number three is on the other side of that wall right there but I can't get into it today square business depot store number four store number four is a double so here's a store that's 24 feet wide and it has another store on this side that's 24 feet wide
Okay, so this is by far the largest one. You're probably looking at about 4,000 square feet of space. Rear facing doors to the driveway system. So if you were to come out the back, you can have a, there's a driveway here for the drive through, but it also, this is where you can have trucks come in here and unload, you know, things for this particular store. And the drive through can be down in that corner somewhere if you have a coffee shop or a bank or a, or a uh, McDonald's or something here, okay? You got varying ceiling heights, 16 foot high, 11 foot high, and 11 foot high. All on, on, cinder, uh, on a cement slab that's anywhere from uh, five to eight inches thick. All new sewer, all new water, all new electric, okay? So that's what you have. This is store number four. This is store number five. Store number five is very unique in that it's next to the driveway. It's already in progress. The bathroom, the plumbing is already started. The style of roofing that is again put in before you put in your drop ceiling. As you can see, it's already starting up there. Again, all that is for dust and drips associated with a, with a bridge. But this uh, uniqueness of number five is that it has a loft. And we're gonna talk about this is 700 square feet down below. About 400 square feet up above, and we'll go into that. But as you can see, we're already in the process. This is the bathroom already being plumbed out. There's already plumbing associated with this one. So it's ready for activity. Rear facing door that goes out into the driveway. Okay, and you'll be able to park behind it, as you can see here, or park accordingly, depending on which way the condo parking is sold. The beauty about number five is again that it does have a loft and this loft is because we're taking advantage of the 16 foot ceiling and the 16 foot ceiling here will allow you to put storage up here, a mini office and look down upon number five. Again, condo number five. Central Square Business Depot. This is store number six. About 1,500 square feet. As you can see, it's already underway. The bathroom is already being plumbed into this corner here. As you can see, we already got a lot of the plumbing already in. And this is going to be the kitchenette area. It's going to be a rear-facing door to get out to the parking. Let's show the parking. So if somebody owns a parking space just outside here, you park your car right out here or across the way. Again, we're on the way. 16-foot ceiling, 11-foot ceilings. 11 foot ceilings, all new, all new sewer, all new water. We got drains that go all the way to that corner and drains that go to this corner. So this is where we decided to put the bathroom on this locale. All new water, all new sewer, already trenched in here. It's got two storefronts. So this has the capability of somebody who wants to use it to split it down the middle, use one common bathroom or put in two bathrooms, but this could be two 750 foot square stores if they wish. Otherwise, this would make a nice market. High ceilings, 16 foot ceilings up there. You know, you can get the ambiance that you're looking for. And again, you're facing out into the street. There's a nice 20 foot sidewalk here. So you can have chairs outside if you, or, or selling outside if the city will allow you. But I believe they'll allow the first five feet. Again, permission from the city. And across the street is the 42 units, the Mount Vernon lofts across the way. But as you can see already, what the bridge looks like before we start putting in the mandatory, you know, catch. And all that does is basically it just catches drips. There's no rain. There's no, it's dust, rain drips, things from a naturally 100 year old bridge. And that all goes to our system of drainage. And that drainage, as you can see, is all the way around the whole property. And then it feeds back into uh, the drains that belong to the bridge and the MBTA. Okay. So that's our system. From here you hang your drop ceilings. As you can see, this is one of those projects that's underway. You can take it over and finish it. Otherwise, we will take this to the next level of chocolate and vanilla and uh, sell it as a ready to utilize box. And uh, whoever wants it can finish it to, to their taste. But otherwise, it's semi-raw. This is not in raw form, this is underway. Including permits, electrical, and plumbing is already started on this project. Number six.
store condo number seven, what we have here. This one is almost finished. Again, this will also show you that a drop ceiling is gonna be put in. And as you can see, there's the roof that is made to keep the moisture, dust, and drips from the bridge already fully installed and drains back to the drains of the MBTA. This is a full bathroom again. And as you can see here, this is finished. We're probably 30, no more than 60 days away from a completion here. All the electrical is already in, mini kitchen. So this is store number seven. This is 700 plus square feet. And again, it's just in its final details, a finish. We need a floor and it's ready to go. A lot of that is any and all space was utilized. So if we have height and we had room, we created space everywhere, including up against the wall underneath this long shelf is going to have shelving underneath it so that anybody who's utilizing this location can have any and all space 100% utilized. As you can see here, every nook and cranny got turned into some storage space of some sort. Okay, this is our electrical corner in the back here for all the electronics. Fully wired, and it's a beautiful space. They, again, feeds out sunshine galore, and our signature piece is the glass top, and that's shelving up there is for all kinds of um, plants. So basically we have a very uh, airy feel, lots of light. There's no lights in here now. It's a gray overcast day, and there's no lights in here. And look how much light, no lights at all. And again, this is the rear facing door that goes to the parking lot in the back. That goes straight out to the parking lot in the back. Again, store number seven. For our business depot, this is store number eight. It's 7,500 to 8,000 square feet. It runs, and it's currently occupied with our containers, but it runs from the front all the way to the back. And it's three units wide, so it's all 24 on center. And as you can see, they go all the way to the front there of the building, and then they come out the back. So it's already almost enclosed, full cinder block walls. And as you can see, we use it as our temporary storage facility, but this is 11 foot height on the bridge, 16 foot height in the middle, 11 foot height there, and then another 16 foot height in the other area, and then it gets to the front of the building. Again, store number eight, condo number eight. Store number seven. Store number seven. This is the rear parking space of store number seven. Um, this will accommodate larger trucks. That's our uh, working office. But store number seven, all this parking is made, again, it's 24 feet wide, made to accommodate 26 foot plus trucks in here, two of them side by side. And again, the, this is the rear of number seven. These parking spaces really don't belong to number seven. They're really made for anybody who's going to occupy store number eight. These are the rear parking spaces that face to the back of the building. Every one of them, again, is 24 feet wide, so you can get two cars or a, a larger truck and a car or three small cars. But again, 24 on center, pillar to pillar. And this is the whole rear facing part of the building. And again, this is the additional parking here that is behind store number six and store number five. This is all parking with every pillar, 24 feet on center. You can park three smaller cars or you can park, um, you can park an SUV in here, light, uh, two, two light trucks in here. And again, these are 17 to 18 feet deep, 17 to 18 feet deep. Interior parking of Central Square Business Depot. So again, this is the rear parking, parking, drive-through, drive-through. All the construction is 100% cinder block, eight inch cinder block. So it is all brand new construction, new sewer, new water, new electric, new plumbing on the entire complex. And again, the entire complex here will have a rubber roof 
dealing with no snow, no rain loads, but just any drips, any dust for all this parking back here, mainly for the owners of the condos. This is the uh, driveway between store number five and number four to drive through. As you can see, it's pretty wide, at least 24 feet wide across. As you can see, this is a vehicle coming through it, 24 feet wide. And this vehicle actually goes all the way down. So this is how people would come in to the place. Sorry about the darkness. But as we get closer, so this is 20, this is about 17 feet wide. There's a driveway gate that's going down there. But the objective is you drive through and then you take a left turn over there. This is again now store number four, three, two, and then in the rear of the property is store number one. And as you can see in store number one, it was originally designed to have driveway and garage doors for a car detail shop, and it still can be that. The only issue is that you do need a, a special drain in the ground for oil on that. So again, this is the rear of the store number one.